Welcome back to Sunless Sea. I have just bought some Muter Salt from Wither to advance the Cook's Quest. Now I still need some Zoop from Mount Palmerston. So let's go ahead and head in that direction, but before going to Mount Palmerston, I'm going to take a stop at Frostfound. Because that is where I can advance the Sigil Ridden Navigator's Quest. So things are about to get very, very spoopy. I'm really not looking forward to going inside of there again. I'm hoping I don't actually have to go inside of it, but I probably do. Gotta be realistic, it is an officer quest, and pretty much everything you do for the officers usually is pretty, pretty involved. Costs either a lot of time, or money, or other things. Let's get a port report. What do you think is left after a lifeberg melts? How much creature is there in that thing of ice? I wonder. Is it a full creature that just has a shell of ice, or is it some sort of elemental where if it melted it just wouldn't exist anymore? Is it ice brought to life? Anyway, let's go get ourselves killed, shall we? <sighs> let's see. Oh wait, maybe, wait, 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 maybe I don't have to. Let's get a port report first. What is this? Show the squatters your navigator's sigil. A plucky researcher recognizes it. I know it well. I can show you, but the way isn't easy. I'll not take anyone frail. You'll need ropes, crampons, skins, tents. And I'll want paying, of course. My bursary is wearing rather thin. Okay, need an outlandish artifact? Check. Wounds in more than one? Check. Five supplies? Check. Um, that doesn't leave me with many supplies, but you know what, that's fine. Yeah, I can, even though it's pretty expensive, I can just buy more supplies at Mount Palmerston. Yeah. So I wonder if I can do this on my own if I just enter Frostfound, and this is simply like a better way to do it, or if you have to do it this way to advance this quest at all. Don't know, but regardless of which way it goes, this is the one I want to do anyway. So let's go. Almost never remembered. He didn't exaggerate. The ice is slick as an oiled mirror. You need pittens and spiked boots to navigate the slopes, and a misplaced foot will send great chunks of it thundering into the thirsty sea. The air bites like a bound shark. Your face is numb, your fingers stiff, your throat raw. The climb takes you around a sheer white cliff, the waters below swimming with shards of razored ice. At last, a frozen ledge. A vertical sheet of ice rises before you, reflective as a conjurer's glass. Engraved upon it, 20 feet high, is the navigator's sigil. Impressive, isn't it? The researcher says, dropping his pack. It's one of the old accords between Wither and Aram. It means, almost never remembered. Your navigator approaches it warily. The sigil on his temple sparks with blue fire. He reaches out, his fingers touching those of his reflection in the ice. And his reflection lunges forward, whispering something in his ear. The navigator crumples into the snow. Oh, the plucky researcher says. Damn. We're gonna have a devil of a time getting him back to the ship. You do, but you manage it. Back in your cozy cabin, you imbibe mold rum. Will you ever be warm again? Okay, that was... That was mercifully easy compared to what I was expecting. I did get a wound, which I really don't like, but that's fine. That's fine, as long as I don't get to two, I'm comfortable. Alright, let's go speak to him. 
I can enter Frostbound just for fun. Yeah. No. Ain't no fun to be had in there. Oh, I need something that awaits me in port. Alright, so I gotta wait a bit of time. Well, in that case, let's take off for Mount Palmerston. Go pick up the Devilless. I believe she's going to be an officer aboard my ship, and I wonder what her stats are going to be. And of course, also get the Zoop for my cook. I really was not expecting that to be so quick. It's a lighthouse. Should get a ding right before I pull into port. There we go. Let's uh, speak to him right now, actually. Alright, the ship's surgeon finds you. He's awake, my lord, and he's asking for you. The navigator has slept, fitfully, since he collapsed on the frost-found ice. New purpose. His sigil has grown. It reaches down to his cheek now. The skin it marks is pitted and gray. Captain, the ice told me. The sigil's reflection was its opposite, or inverse, it doesn't matter. We must go north. North and north and north, to the avid horizon, to Void's approach. He struggles to rise. Where are my charts? My compass? My sounding line? Oh god, what are we going to do at the avid horizon? You're not going to be opening anything, are you? Please no. I mean, it's right there, so I, I guess that's where I'm going next. Hopefully Mount Nomad isn't in, in the, isn't in the area. Don't feel like fighting a mountain. Okay, let's go for the crater first. Get the Devil S. I can do independent verification again. No. Let's visit. Next, tell the Devil S it's time to go. Already packed. Let's go, she says breathily. The Brimstone... In... Invigilators? Yeah, I guess Invigilators, whatever that means. The Brimstone Invigilators will be here soon. You don't want to meet them. She lifts a single manskin valise. This is all I need. Take me back to London. Ooh, see, that's a thing. I don't think I should take her back to London. Didn't they say they're going to kill her? Like, no matter what, whether she was telling the truth with her list of people that are, you know, dirty or whatever. List of traitors. Didn't they say that whether that list was true or not, they're going to kill her? What's a fitting punishment for a, a devil? Do you send it to heaven? Anyway, where are you? There we, there we go, of course she's a gunnery officer. Let's see, iron... Plus one? That's terrible. That's really, really bad. <laughs> this guy's plus eight. Alright, well, she's an interesting person. Or entity. If she's a demon, I guess maybe she's not technically a person. But uh, she's definitely not somebody I actually want to be my officer. Uh, she's not cut out for the Z. Take her back to London and the Brass Embassy. I don't know if I want to. Let's speak with her. Invite her to supper. One supply? Yeah, I've got two supplies, that's fine. I'm gonna buy more supplies here anyway, which I can buy, right? Yeah, they're not even that expensive. 22. It's only a little bit more than they are back in London. Let's get the Zoop as well. Devils make 
interesting if perilous conversationalists. She complains that you only have that you have only human spirits, not the cloying poisonous stuff that devils favor. But she drinks it liberally regardless. She seems more wistful than usual, regretting her departure from Mount Palmerston, or nervous about what lies ahead? Finally you realize that she's drunk. She's saying something about the old days. We built our hives on the edge of dream, she slurs, while men were monkeys still. Monkey souls are poor unripe things, like this wine of yours, but they serve as consolation. I require consolation, my lord. I do. She looks directly into your eyes. You're very pretty, she says. Then she falls face down in the remains of her chops and stewed mushrooms and begins to snore. <laughs> By the time you call assistance to have her taken back to her cabin, her drool has badly charred the tabletop, and the room stinks of charred varnish. Ew. Okay, if her saliva actually charred the varnish, then wouldn't she just, like, melt me if I kissed her? Wouldn't she just melt my mouth? Like, my tongue would just dissolve? And let's not even think about what would dissolve if some other things happened. Alright, gained a secret, lost a supply, that's fine. Okay. Can I talk with her again? Has she recovered? Apparently. Uh, I'm busy. She brushes past you and is gone. Was she embarrassed? Does that happen with devils? It is probably embarrassing for a devil to get drunk. So it's just going to say that every single time, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Maybe I just have to wait? I mean, if I can't talk with her further, then I pretty much have to take her back to London. Otherwise, there's literally nothing to do with her. Okay, well, let's talk with the cook now that I have everything I need. Here you go. Have you my muter salt, Captain? My zoop? I am keen to investigate their possibilities. A brazing alembec bubbles eagerly in the background. Excellent. He retreats into his galley and bars the door. Day and night, his jugging crucible blazes. The galley portholes flare crimson across the black Z. He does not answer the door. It's ships of biscuits and barreled water for a while. When he emerges, his bandages are yellow as smoke. I am victorious. The Zoop defied me, but I have broken it. Chanterelles from some soggy edge of London. Pigstock. A feisty dash of paprika. Lament onions. Petals from the exile's rose, which grows in hell. And tears from a hanged man or a heartbroken priest. I believe either would suffice. The method of the ingredients combination is singular. I believe I can make use of it. We are charting new culinary frontiers, my captain, but the Fathom Kings preside over the drowning feasts. He is accustomed to excess. We must amaze. That night, the crew dine happily on fish stew. The cook keeps your wine glass topped up, and at the end of dinner approaches you nervously. I am afraid I have another request, captain. I need something from Khan's heart. A certain book of recipes. If we were going that way, he fidgets with the ends of his bandages, avoiding your gaze. Why is he lying to you? Wait, what does it mean, why is he lying to me? Lying to me about what? About needing the Book of Recipes? Hmm, well, he's got mysterious business in Khan's heart. He needs something there. Also, I just gained hunger? Instead of losing it? Okay. Interesting. Okay, so where am I going from here? Um, I need to go to the Avid Horizon. I also need to go to Khan's Heart. I guess my next stop should probably just be the Avid Horizon. Yeah, let's just pop straight up there. So let's get some supplies. And a bunch of fuel, of course. 
I suppose as much as I can hold, because it is really, really cheap here. There we go, one fuel, perfect. I just seen enough supplies to last me back to London. Um, but these supplies are actually probably going to be more expensive anywhere that I buy them. Other than London in itself. Even at Con's Heart, I'm pretty sure the supplies are more than 20. I think they're 25. I want to say. In fact, I could even check. Con's Heart. Yeah, supplies 25. So, I'm going to want as many supplies as I think I need to actually take me all the way back to London. So yeah, let's get up to 10. And then... I'm just going to fill up on this, actually. Yeah, might as well. Don't think I'm going to be receiving any large influxes of things into my hold anytime soon, so... Let's go. To the Avid Horizon. Oh, hello. 300. I can take you. So wait a second. Oh, wait, it's not spinning. What are you doing? Come on. Come on. Where are you going? What's up there? Nothing, really. Oh. Alright, now's my chance. Here we go. Here. Oh, shit. Alright, that didn't quite work out. Come on, gotta get a shot on it to slow it down. Actually, it probably doesn't matter at this point. There we go, we're good. We're good, it's got no aft weapon, so I'm fine. Are we both backing up into each other? What's going on? Alright, I'll take it. <laughs> this is such an awkward fight. We're just, like, rubbing against each other. Bumper cars, and you're dead. Thank you. Four supplies. Well, <laughs> guess I bought too many. Stump one fuel. Can you imagine if an actual naval battle looked like that? Two boats just kind of like rubbing against each other. That would be a sight to behold. Of course, in reality, boats don't move nearly as agile as these do. Oh, it's the moth. You know, honestly, I could probably take the damn thing. I think it's got, what, 400 hit points? Can't see, but I don't want to risk it. Then again, I mean, I can slow it. Its behavior is probably going to be similar to that of the bats, I'm assuming. Where it kind of, like, rushes at you. Well, hell, I guess pretty much everything rushes at you, doesn't it? Oh wait, fi oh, Tyrant Moth, never mind. That's got 500 hit points. I thought it was one with 400. Nope, not touching it. Hmm, um, now that a bit of time has elapsed, let's see if I can talk to the Deviless. Nope, she's still busy. Hmm. I guess I have to take her back to London. Hopefully I can save her life. If I do that, though, I feel like I'm going to piss off the Brass Embassy, which means I won't have anywhere to sell my Firkin of Red Honey to. Which would be very unfortunate. Oh, 
Okay, what are we gonna be doing here, dude? I'm kinda scared. I ain't opening the gate. Let's get a port report. Wait, what am I? Oh fuck, I need strategic information. Wait, I don't have strategic information? What is it that I have? Wait a- oh no! I- didn't I craft my strategic informations into a vital intelligence or something? Can I uncraft them? Strategic information. Fuck. Where is it? Vital intelligence. God damn it. Where the hell am I going to get strategic information? I don't even know. Alright, well this quest ain't happening. Not at the moment. I think I need to do stuff for the... Uh, probably do stuff at Khan's Heart with the whole spy network and all that stuff. To get strategic information. Alright, well I'm going to write a note for myself. Strategic info... For Avid Horizon... For Sigil... Dude. D-O-O-D. I don't want to look into the stars. <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? Oh god, my terror. Peace beneath the world. These are real stars. They burn above the roof of the Neath, beyond the earth, in the spaces of heaven. Even so far away, even now, their eyes are on you. But here in the night, under the world, you are safe. Safe. You return to your senses, gasping. Your hands are cold, numb. How long were you watching the stars? Long enough to gain 10 terror and feel nervous. Let's do it again. No, let's not. Okay. Let's do things. That sounds like a plan. And by things, I mean, um, let's go to Khan's Heart and advance the Cook's Quest. And then after that, head back to London. And advance the Devilesses Quest. And... Well, that's pretty much as far as my plan goes. Yeah, do I want to take a stop at Port Cecil? Eh, might as well just for a port report, if nothing else. Lifeberg! Those things are cute. I want to ride one. Just pitch a tent on top of it. People have pitched tents on flows before. In the Antarctic. Get rid of my wound. Excellent. Back it up, back it up. Slow it down, slow it down. Uh. What the? What happened? Oh, it went underwater. I was like, why is it all blue? Charge me. You're dead. Let's butcher it. Hunting trophy, stitch in ivory, a mass, choice cut. Lost some hunger. You know, I should finally fight one of those, uh, one of those nasty sharks. Because I feel confident enough to fight them now. 
I think they're typically around, at least where I've seen them for the most part, I think is around like the Sea of Lilies. I want to say. Ooh, another one. it again. Another hunting trophy, more ivory. One supply. So what is that, two hunting trophies? Well, I think I've gained two. I already had two to start with, I guess. Some Stygian ivory. Hmm. I do know that I do still need the Stygian ivory plus something else to advance one of my officer's quests in the Iron Republic, I believe, and I do need to go to the Iron Republic to get, uh, I think it was hydrogen for the whole fuel agreement trade thing with um, the Empire of Hands. So I could go there at some point. Get a port report. I think that was all I was planning on doing here. Yeah. 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 Nothing to do here. Nope. Could explore around. Hmm. You know, so somebody told me something that I don't think I've ever mentioned, by the way, and that's that the something awaits you in port quality apparently actually has different degrees of... So something? Different degrees of... weightage? Portage? I don't really know what the hell you'd call it. But it's an odd kind of mechanic or whatever you want to call it that the game has never really made particularly obvious. But apparently it's not just either nothing awaits you in port because you've used it up or something awaits you in port and that's it. It's not just like those two different states. Apparently after something awaits you in port pops up, if you keep waiting, apparently it can like change the quality of the something awaits you in port. If you kind of just leave it for a while and that can open up new opportunities, new events to do in certain ports. Apparently. So I'm, you know, I'm kind of inclined to just use it up just because I'm here. And just explore around, but... I don't know, I, I think I'm just going to leave it this time. Maybe something cool will happen. Who knows. I don't even know how to check, like, how many times you've stacked it. I mean, if it was designed... If it was designed well, you think it would have, like, a, a times here or something. Like, something way too import times two or something. To show some sort of a multiplier. I wonder if there's any way to check. I don't know. But the time it takes to stack another one, I believe, is pretty much the same amount of time it takes to stack one. So I should get another one by the time I get to Khan's Glory, I would think. I just don't know how to tell. have changed. Alright, is this the place he wanted to stop at? No. Also, I keep forgetting to check the shipyard at the places I've been stopping at. Friendly teleporting magician boat. Ghost boat. Alright, what did you want to do here? I 
Ah, he wants shore leave. Okay. Have a ball. He stands stiffly before you. I will not need long or much. Ah, balls! If I had drowning pearls, I could actually follow him. Oh wait, no, I can't even I can't even let him go without drowning pearls. Seriously? Shit. Well now I wish I didn't sell that Scintillac, because then I could have gone to the Fathom King hold and gotten some more drowning pearls. Well, balls. Gonna write a quick note here. Need five or ten drowning pearls at Khan's place for cook. Well, you can't go, because I don't have the pearls for it. I don't even know why I need pearls. Oh, oh, it's to uh, it's to give him like an allowance to actually do what he needs to do. Yeah, in fact, I didn't even read this. Your cook wants to go ashore. He claims he needs to collect a book of recipes, but he is short on details and long on guilty fidgeting. He asks for his payback in drowning pearls, or for his back pay in drowning pearls. They will ease my way past the white and golds. Bribes. What in the hell is he trying to do? I don't believe he's just trying to get a book. Why would you need to bribe people just to get a book of recipes? That is shady as hell. <laughs> Zero percent chance of success? Nope. I still don't want to do this stuff. Because it relies upon my veils quality, which is freaking terrible. 29%. Hmm. I'm going to risk it. I failed. Hurry on by. You find the address, but the street outside is thronged with white and gold uniforms. Loiter on the corner. There. Two hard-faced men in no uniform but their own authority are directing operations. Their white uniformed henchmen manhandle an unconscious body into a waiting boat. Your contact. Back to your ship. Quickly. Welp. Not going to be talking to that contact anytime soon. Hmm. New suspicion is eight. Gained two suspicion. That is not good. Oh, you've completed your commission. Return to the Admiralty. Okay. I guess I can't keep trying it. Are they too suspicious? Oh, <laughs> look at that. I can only go into the Nefriti Quarter to trade if my suspicion is no more than 9, and it currently is 8, so if I fail one more time, I'm not going to be able to even go in there. Damn. Okay, well, at least that's done for now. Let me see if I can sell my ivory. Nope. Okay, um, so what do I want to do? I think it's time to just go back to London. I need to go back there to talk to the Admiralty. I need to go back there to talk to the Brass Embassy about the Devil-S. Yeah, I need strategic information for Avid Horizon. I need Drowning Pearls for here, neither of which I have. Yeah, I think it's time to just go back and regroup. <laughs> I'm just noticing that there's some black areas on the map that I really should explore. Right here. And some places down south, too. But especially this place right here. There could be a new place to dock. It's possible. Okay, back to London it is.
Man, I'm really worried about the Devil S. At least I don't have to be worried about her burning in hell. I think she would actually quite like that. Take a stop at the salt lines. Yeah, how the hell do you tell when something awaits you to import stacks? Where is my something awaits me import? Is it in curiosities? Journal? I don't freaking know. Oh, wait, there it is. It doesn't say. It doesn't say anything about stacking. Oh, hi. Oh, only 150? I can take you. This is like shooting crabs in a barrel. I feel bad. I kind of want to dissect it. Let's see what happens. Oh, I failed. It's not bad, though. Even failing it, I gained a hunting trophy and ten fragments. <laughs> Mysteries remain. I don't think we did a very good job dissecting it. Because all we found out is that its blood glows and it's all terribly gooey. Uh, fascinating. Science. Gooey innards. Salt's right again. I always keep wondering that and I never freaking remember. I don't remember what it did. I know it didn't, like, kill me or anything. In fact, I think it maybe even gives me an extraordinary implication. Wouldn't mind having one of those. Ooh. Ooh. I'm gonna do it. Yeah, it gave me an extraordinary implication. So I've already read this before, because I did this once before. Dive down into the water. Shock crew. Look at the shocked faces of your crew. You've brought something with you from the water. Gain some dare. I no longer have Salt's attention, which is... I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing, but I do have an extraordinary implication. It could be useful. Can't think of anywhere in particular to use it at the moment, but... Never hurts to have those sorts of things. Because I've seen many, many times, it really helps to have just at least one of everything. Because you never know when you might need it.
<laughs> Good timing on that ding. Let's get a port report. Do I want to explore? Um, sure. Blemigans. Let's observe. Probably get the same thing that I read before. Yeah, poetry recital. Reminiscent of a poetry recital. <laughs> Weird things. Gain 50 fragments. Not bad. And I'm good. Oh, wait. Shipyard. Alright, no shipyard available at this port. Man, all that fighting. And keeping my lights on the entire freaking time, and I still went up to 43 tear. Of course, some of that, 10 of that was from staring at the stars at the Avid Horizon. But still. Now, I think I should have recent news to get a Z story with. Magician ship. Undyne. This thing's got a lot of hit points, even though it looks like it's my exact ship. It's got more than me. I'm jealous. Thank you. Lost five there, gained one Z story. I wonder what would happen if I rammed a friendly ship. Would it take that as a hostile... Oh, it just teleported. Goodbye. Would it take that as a hostile action, or... Nah, this seems so dumb, they probably wouldn't even know what the hell's going on. Boink. Boink. Biff. Okay. Ah, right. Nothing awaits me in port. So I guess that's why I can't collect papers or whatever. I still can read the paper though, right? Yeah. Morning paper. Oh, I don't even have another day. Free evening. Ooh. Hold on. I'm actually gonna wait. Oh, come on. Does it not regenerate when I'm this close, close to London? Maybe it doesn't. I feel like it would have already come back already. Let's wait ten more seconds. One. Two. Oh, there we go. Thank God. Ah, yeah, you can search my shit. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Well, at least I lost one suspicion. Down to four. <laughs> They're frustrated that they couldn't find any illegal stuff. you think that would make them happy. Okay. Read the paper. Spend some time with my family. Lost 20 tear. Hmm, my new to my new total of restful nights is three. Can I do something with my with my restful nights? Is that something I can like a kind of currency that I can spend? Oh, it'll strengthen me when it'll strengthen you when you struggle against nightmares. Interesting. Cool. Okay. Anybody want to join? Nope. I believe there is an officer that I'm actually still missing. I think it's called, like, the something magician. Some magician guy that I think is an officer. So it's always worth worth checking to see if he wants to sign on. And I do vaguely remember him from my first playthrough. It's been so long since I've seen him, though. Alright, that's good. Nothing to repair. That's good, that's good. 
can visit my study. I might do that in a minute. Let's do the story stuff, though. Yeah, how's my hold? Pretty empty. Uh, let's go to the Admiralty first. Yeah, so let's ask him what he wants me to do. Now that I failed at what I was doing before. Anything in particular? Retrieve strategic information from the Cumian Canal south along the coast from London. Okay, I wouldn't mind doing that. Of course, I'm not actually going to bring the strategic, strategic information back to him. I'm going to use it at the Avid Horizon. But still, sounds good. Oh wait, I can turn on my shipment of red honey. Hmm. The Admiral will probably be quite eager to hear where you came by it. I don't think I want him to know about that. No. Oh, and that's for the vials of red honey. That's not even for the firkin of red honey. So that would have been, like, super early on, I think, when I was first doing this. It's a little bit too late now. Let's just go ahead and submit my port reports. Not from Mount Palmerston. Let's save that one. Okay, we're good. Quite a bit of fuel. Nice. Made a bit of my money back. Still need to go to the Brass Embassy, but before that... What did I want to do before that? Oh, yes, you. Right, so I can give you the Extraordinary Implication, but I want to save it. I kind of want to have, like, one of everything, at least. Ooh. The Unread Log. Hmm. I want to keep one of that, too, though. Yeah, I don't want to get rid of that. Oh, right, I've got two captivating treasures. I'm probably going to sell one, but before I do that, I, I want to take a look around at some other stuff. So, let's do the Brass Embassy. But in just a second, I'll be right back. Alright, before I go to the Brass Embassy and see what's up with the Devil S, let me actually go speak with her and see if she has anything new to say. Nope, she's still busy. Alright, let's go there. What are my options? Just escort her? My god, I really don't want to. I guess I pretty much have to. Here we go. London. Oh, the souls. The souls. I haven't smelt so many since. She inhales, eyes closed, face wrapped. Your hackney carriage approaches the embassy. A discreet arrival. The urbane devil meets you and the devilesse by one of the embassy's lesser entrances. He bows. She bows. They chatter together in one of hell's hissing, clicking languages and laugh at a shared joke. For a moment, you seem forgotten. But she turns back. To thank you? No. To pay you. All shall be well now, she says gleefully. And all manner of things shall be well. You've done a terrible thing, and I am terribly grateful. Take this. This is a smoldering ruby from the throat of Mount Palmerston. It is scorching hot from her touch. She chuckles fondly as you juggle it hastily from hand to hand. Perhaps I'll see you again. You're so much fun. Captivating treasure, two secrets. And now my quality with her is 100. But unfortunately, I don't have her anymore. Is that it? Is that the end of what I can do with her? I think that might be it. I guess she's just... gone. God, I shudder to think of what they did with her. It didn't seem like there was anything else I could do other than just never take her back to London. She's always busy, never wanted to talk. Huh. Okay, so here's what I want to do now. I was taking a look around at the shops, looking for, like, perhaps something to equip to my bridge slot, which has been which has been completely empty for pretty much... Actually, no, literally the, literally the entire game, this bridge slot has been empty. I've never put anything on my bridge. 
Not in my old ship and not in my new ship. At least as far as I can remember. I think maybe the maybe the Memento Moray, before it actually became a weapon, it might have been a bridge item. I seem to remember it being something like that. But anyway, yeah, it's been pretty much empty the entire time, and I was taking a look around the shop to see whether I wanted to buy a light or something, and I don't think I do. All of this is really freaking expensive. You know, I feel like why go for the one that costs a thousand if I can get this one, which has mirrors plus ten? But then that costs four thousand, and that's pretty much all my money, and I don't really want to spend that, so... Eh. I just don't think mirrors plus ten, I mean, that's good. Even if it is veils minus ten as well. It's good, but... That just doesn't seem worth 4000 to me. I took a look at the other stuff too, like the engines and the weapons and stuff, and I just don't think I want to buy anything. However, I also looked at my lodgings, and there is something I want to do there. So if I visit my study, I can create all sorts of things. Uh, shrine, anatomical cabinets, serene aquarium, blah 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 blah. I think I briefly took a look at these before, but yeah, basically what they do is they take seven secrets each, plus some other stuff, like a captivating treasure, or seven lamentable relics, or a live specimen. So seven secrets plus something, and what you get is this. It increases a stat by seven, permanently, and you also get a shrine that you can equip to the auxiliary slot, which increases it by seven more. So just... Seven flat-out upgrade, and then seven more if you equip the item. Which is really, really good. That is a massive increase in the stats. So I want to do some of this. Yeah, it costs seven secrets, so I have enough secrets to do two of these. Now, I really wanted to increase my veils, because that's my weakest skill. But unfortunately, to do that, I need seven strange catches. So that's not going to happen at the moment. Yeah, I can also convert them into into heirlooms, which is apparently basically a way of passing on money to your to the uh, the people after you. To my next character. But I'm too selfish for that. I want to save all my money for myself. But there's one in particular that I really want to do. I think it's, yeah, this one. So this increases my pages by 7. And at the moment my pages is 41. Now, pages seem to be a lot harder to increase than normal stats, so I think increasing your pages by 7 is worth a lot more, I feel like, worth a lot more than increasing something else by 7. So, I'm going to do this. Costs 7 secrets, 7 outlandish artifacts. Let's do it. A distillation of treasures. The most complex truths evade easy revelation. One must track them, harry them, cage them. They may be caged only by ink, wrung from the veins of treasures. To record these truths, I must grind these treasures for ink. They will call me eccentric. They will call me deranged. But they will never call me ignorant. Gain seven pages. Excellent. Oh yeah, so it says new total 39, but even but it says 48 over here, so I guess that's just because uh, 39 is my base pages. And that is increased by, I'm assuming, some officer stuff. Yeah, pages plus three. Pages plus three, yep. Alright, sweet. Let's take a look at whether that item takes up hold space. Okay, it does. Yeah, so I don't like the fact that it takes up hold space. But... It's only one cargo spot. It's not that big of a deal. And in fact, I think I'm just going to replace my torpedo nets with this. Get another plus seven. Yeah, let's do it. That's the bad thing about crafting these things, is that, uh, unless I want to sell them, which I certainly don't, they're gonna take a pulled space. Which means I really want that new ship. I super bad wa badly want that new ship. I really want more hold space. And an aft slot, too. Alright, now my pages are 55. Sweet. So let's get one more. Question is, which one? Hearts by seven. You know, I really want to increase my mirrors, but I just... Can I do that? Oh yeah, I can increase my mirrors. I just need a live specimen. 
I honestly should probably save it for the veils, but I really want to be ridiculously good at mirrors. I want there to be at least one stat that I'm just obscenely good at. Let's have that be mirrors. Let's do it. Let's get a life specimen. Mysterious motions. Watch this... Itchthid enigma traverse the tank. Its motions are subtle and elegant. They induce tranquility. Perhaps, too, they reveal divinatory truths. One can hope. Alright, well, I'm pretty much tapped out of secrets now. And it's getting a lot harder to gain secrets, now that I'm not uh, finding a lot of new places in the world, because that's my, the main way in the past that I've gotten fragments, which end up giving me secrets. But now there's not that much new places to find, so yeah, I'm pretty sure my the amount of secrets that I, that I get are going to go drastically down. Well, in fact, they've actually been drastically reduced already. Because I haven't actually found new places for quite a while. So secrets are more and more precious the longer you play, I think. 84 mirrors. Beautiful. And of course, I can always increase that by doing this. Get it up to 91. Okay, so I think that's it for that. Let's sell my Stygian Ivory. Of course, I need to buy a ton of uh, supplies as well. But I think I'll sell buying... Uh, I think I'll save buying supplies for the next episode because I still need to figure out where I want to go and I don't really know. Um, I'm supposed to go to the Cumian Canal to get some strategic information for the Admiralty, although in reality I'm not going to take it back to the Admiralty, I'm going to take it up to the Avid Horizon. I also do need to visit the Iron Republic to get some... Hydrogen, I believe it was, to take the to the Empire of Hands. So I wouldn't mind doing that while I'm down there. Yeah, I actually kind of like that. Visit the Cumian Canal, get the strategic information, Go to the Iron Republic, get the hydrogen or whatever it was, and then get a bunch of red honey at the Isle of Cats to take back to the Brass Embassy. Gain some money. I like it. So kind of go straight down along here, then go over to the right. I do like it. I feel like it's been a while since I've been down south as well. And that would potentially allow me to explore this dark spot here if I wanted to, which I think I do. Hmm. Hmm. And you know what? I'm also supposed to go to Port Carnelian to find the monster thing that the guy at Adam's Way wanted me to find. Ooh. Okay, yeah, so I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do, but I'm definitely going to do something down south. Something around here. So, I will save that for the next episode. I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.